Hi, welcome back to another FSD beta video. Today we are in 10.5. We are underground at the Apple Park headquarters. Uh, I will want to iterate that I believe Tesla does not claim that they can do underground parking yet with FSD, but I thought we'd bring it here to see how it does. The map data that it wants us to follow is not what it's seen. So we should see, so that should be a good test to see how good the uh, image only detection is on this car. With that, let's begin. So it immediately starts with the blinker on, which is what the map data is basically telling it to do. But then it's, it sees this person here too, slows down for them. Looks like it's gonna try to make a left, but it can't. So it's gonna continue yeah, straight. Right onto North Tantal Avenue. So now it did find its way to the exit. It's gonna be a little speed bump. It's not gonna go over it fast. Now it's trying to accelerate way too fast up this thing. And oh God, it was gonna go straight into that pole. Uh, we'll, we'll retry that one more time and hope to try and reset the speed sooner so it doesn't just floor it up that hill. All right, we've reset our car and we're acting in FSD. I'm gonna have to slow it down all the way. It keeps trying to, it keeps trying to match the speed. There it goes. Oh, what? It did it again. It keep, no matter how many times you scroll the wheel, yeah. it just keeps resetting the 35. Yeah, it kept on going back. It went to 35 to 35, and then it went to 18 on your last one. So I reactivate. Okay, 15, that's reasonable. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. That went, that went smooth. That went smooth. So once it gets up out of the parking garage, it does do a good job with the detection of those poles. Mm -hmm. It just is having an issue, I guess, with map data and speed limit data that it just constantly wants to go so fast that it doesn't have time to register that there's a pole right at the top and you mm -hmm. just go slow for. Yep. Right now it's going really slow, even though we have it set to 35. Um, there are a lot of people, you know, where the car needs to go. So it is kicking its time waiting for them to cross the street and get on the sidewalk and now they are on the sidewalk so we should continue normally and it is slowly creeping forward in acceleration it's changing speeds all over the place it's gone 35 15 25 just in the last like two sentences that you said really yeah all right it's blatantly clear from our left this car is now going protecting us from our left and there the car goes it proceeds I'm uh I'm disappointed with that, you know, exit of the parking garage. But I mean, again, Tesla does. I don't think claims they can do underground parking garages yet. Yeah, I it it does on the exit. It did the same thing that we've seen earlier through the cones. It did a better job than what we've seen earlier. I did a much better job through those cones. I don't think I've actually ever seen it be able to do those pillars before. Yeah, I don't think we have either. All right, the light is green and we have a protected left. The car is going forward and then committing to the left and it's doing a really good job. All right, so it really is swinging us quite wide and we actually did break the uh, middle line right there, just barely. Um, wide swing with the mass speed we had. I would have hoped for it to have slowed us down before it then mm -hmm. decided to do the little left swing. Yeah, it did its little S, -E -S curve swing. That's good. Light is green. We have another left that is protected. And it does a really good job getting us into our lane. Now turn left onto Cranebridge Avenue. For that yet? Oh. True. All right, here we go. Making our left. And I do know that for my last drive on 10.5, that they basically have an issue with unprotected lefts, I'm noticing some hesitation there, but protected lefts, no. it's doing a much better job. So we reset the navigation. We're gonna head back to that underground garage. We are parked and activating FSD. Let's see how well it does to get us out of this parking spot. And it does it very smoothly. That was really smooth. So it says no turn on red. We'll see if the car does notice that. 
If it creeps forward for visibility, I will just assume it's not. So the car keeps creeping forward about a foot every time and it is available to go from our left, but I'm gonna disengage because there's no turn on red. All right, this one we are allowed to turn right on red. And the car does proceed as normally through the right on red. That was a good one. It was a quick little pause and then it got us going. I will admit once we were in our lane, it did hesitate just a little bit, but uh, nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah, right as I started talking, it hesitated. <laughs> now turn right onto North Tantaw Avenue. Ooh, okay, so it's trying to go right behind these trucks right here to turn right, but they're actually construction trucks that are parked there, so I had to take over and go around them, unfortunately. Yeah, that one was a little understandable. They didn't have cones out. They did Normally not. Normally when they put out cones, then FSD picks it up. And I think they had just gotten there and started to set up. Yeah. Okay, that, was, that would have been close. Yeah, that would have been pretty close. That wasn't a very a comfortable decision. It reactivated it, and then there it goes. Yeah, because right here, you see it's going kind of slow through that turn. Mm -hmm. And I, if you had gone with speed, that would have been okay. It detects the pedestrian here, and it's slowing down for them. And then proceeds as normal. All right, I'm gonna cut it here, and we're gonna see you guys back in the underground. All right, we're back underground at Apple. And I'm gonna try it just one last time to see how well it does. It's set to 35. I'm gonna bring it down to 10. Or actually, I'm gonna bring it down to five. I have extra time to adjust it if I have to, if it starts to accelerate. Interesting, so this time it's not updating the speed. So I'm gonna go to seven and see what happens. Speed. Turn right onto Queen Ridge Avenue. Okay. And it detects them. Wow, nice. okay. This is nothing compared to what we saw at the very beginning of our video. That was so cool. That's the first time it did that first corner coming out of the garage. Yeah, and it updates the speed of 15. It does a really good job. And it did all of this. Wow, okay, so a, a day and night difference from when we first started our video. Yeah, I mean, just today we've experienced it come out and go through those cones. Um, like go through the cone successfully one time and then come out and go through the cone successfully. Does not detect that speed bump, but it was a fine now speed. Turn right onto Prune Ridge Avenue. It's coming to a stop here. And it proceeds out of the parking lot. Wow, okay. So that was uh, very much now different from our very first try getting out from underneath the, the parking garage. I'm really happy with that. Yeah. I mean, it, it overcame so many things that it couldn't do previously. It couldn't previously get through the cones and it couldn't get out of the garage into the cones. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's 10.5 update um, here at the Apple headquarters. Um, feel free to please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. If you didn't like it, send it to someone you hate and uh, feel free to support us on Patreon and check out our merch in the description down below if you wanna get your own FSD merch. Um, thank you guys so much, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.